All right, hi, my name is Alexandra. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of your hip pain fast. So I'm going to go through um, like 15 different stretches and this should really help you get rid of your hip pain fast. Okay, so um, yeah, so I'm going to show you 15 different um, hip stretches that you can use. See, personally, I was at risk for a hip fracture like over a year ago. So this is what I use to um, help myself. I did yoga for over a year and I also, you know, did swimming. Um, so those things, they really helped me. So I'm going to show you what might be able to help you. And I did have a personal experience, so this might be really beneficial for you. So please watch the whole video and um, stay tuned for every single exercise that I show. Okay, so the first um, stretch I'm going to show is a runner's lunge. Now, if you can, if you're at home, uh, maybe you can join in with me. Um, just to kind of more of an of an activity as I'm going through this and it might be really beneficial to you if you do the stretches with me as I'm going through it. All right, so the first stretch is a simple um, runner's lunge. So you're just, uh, you have your affected side, the side that's bothering you as far back as you possibly can reach. And this foot, the other foot is forward. You're leaning on it just to support you. And you have your hands down that also supports you. And um, the next one is, you can also do what you call, it's a simple seated twist. Um, you put the, the bad side crossed over the other leg and you just put your arm, kind of hug your leg and just twist and hold. You want to hold for like three or four breath cycles. So you want to breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly and hold it. And then you want to do the other side, same thing. You always want to do, you know, both sides. What you do the one, you do to the other side. Okay. And um, you would do each for at least three to four breath cycles. So you would do that. And then there's... Um, you can do a, another simple one where you just, you're sitting Indian style and you just lean over and stretch and you want to breathe as you're reaching. This way you feel the stretch from here down. So just breathe and reach and then you want to lean over to the other side and same thing, breathe and reach and you feel it all in here. Because your hip flexors, they basically go from your inner thigh all the way up to your shoulder, basically. So it's important to stretch the whole side. So you have that one. Um, then there's one another one you can do. This is number four. It's um, a simple one. Your hands are out in front. Your foot is to the side. Your foot is flat. You're just leaning forward like that and you feel it right in here the inner thigh this is also good for the hip and of course you know he would do the other side same thing just make sure this foot is flat when you're reaching and then there is um then there's another one it's almost the same position, but you're leaning this way. See the foot is down and your arm is reaching over. And you would hold that for a few and you would breathe as you're doing it, as you're reaching and you would feel it through, through here. And then you would switch and you would do the other side. Um, feel free to stop the video, you know, and do the stretches as I'm doing it, if it's, if it's more beneficial for you, of course. Okay, and um, that, so that was um, number five. Uh, number six is you want to have one foot in front, preferably, you know, the, the good side, the stronger side. Whichever side is stronger, your weaker side, the side that hurts, 
you would have it, it you know, your, your back foot, you would lean forward and you just reach up as you're leaning and you breathe in and breathe out as you're reaching up and you feel that right here, right in the inner thigh. Breathe in and breathe out as you're reaching and you would do the same on the other side. Same thing, lean a little bit forward and this is where you feel it on the inner thigh. Okay, that's number six. Number seven is um, basically, it's like a high lunge. Your back foot is, your heel is off the ground and you're reaching up again, leaning a little forward. The front leg is a little bent, reaching up and breathing in and out as you're reaching. You're always breathing. The breathing has to be controlled, not fast, slow. You know, you would switch. And then you would do the same thing on the other side. And if you have difficulty um, balancing with the ankle up, it's fine just to keep it down and just lean forward. Just keep the ankle a little bit turned in the back foot and just reach up, lean forward a little bit and reach and breathe as you're doing it and you should feel in the inner thigh. You don't have to keep the foot up if you can't balance. Um, so whichever works better. Um, so that was a high lunge. Then there's there's warrior two. Um, so this foot now, instead of in, it's out. So it's facing that way. And you just lean a little bit forward. And you just kind of hold the position. And you should feel it here again. And you can also go like that, back and forth, and breathe as you're doing it. And you, you know, you feel the stretch as you're moving, and you would do the other side also. Back and forth. Okay, so that sums up the video on how to get rid of your hip pain fast. This is part one. I'm gonna put part two right here. And um, if you really do have a lot of hip pain or knee pain, I would uh, recommend my number one recommendation, which is the um, TENS unit. I would definitely check out this um, TENS unit right here. This is my number one recommendation. Um, it's basically a massager. It massages the area. You basically put these um, pads um, on the um, area wherever it hurts um, like your hip or your knees and it massages the area it, st it stimulates it brings relief basically it really helps I use the um, TENS unit when I was going through um, a lot of pain in uh, my hip when I was um, when I had my injury early on uh, it was really helpful and I mean really helpful I used it like uh, three times a day sometimes so the uh, tens unit is my number one recommendation I'm gonna put the link below the video so definitely check that out and um, another recommendation of mine if you do have like back pain you can also use the um, tens unit you can use a tens unit for you know uh, your knee pain and um, shoulder pain also you want to adjust the frequency on it you know slowly Maybe start out like at, you know, two or three. You don't want to, you know, have it too high. So adjust the frequency as you get used to it. So definitely do that. The TENS unit is my number one recommendation together with the um, stretches. And when you're doing um, stretches, you know, you want to get into a routine. You want to do it at least, you know, as often as possible. Maybe, you know, four times a week if you can. Um, you know four days out of the um, week if you can every other day maybe so and it's good to get into a routine like a, a yoga routine so I'm gonna put some links below the video of some yoga DVDs that I would um, recommend so those are gonna be below the video also so definitely check those out um, this is basically the same thing I did when I was going through a lot of pain so I would definitely um, check the links below the video and another bonus tip, another recommendation of mine is um, 
product called the uh, Pure Wave. This is basically another um, massager. It's, it can be used to massage the um, back, the hip, the thigh, um, and it, it really brings relief to the area also. Um, if you don't want to get the Pure Wave, you know, you, can, you don't have to, I'm not saying you do. You know, it, you can experience a lot of relief with the um, TENS unit, so you can just, you know, pick, pick that up um, if you're experiencing a lot of pain. Uh, they use it a lot in physical therapy. There are a lot of um, physical therapists that use it, so TENS unit is um, my number one recommendation together with the stretches. And um, you know, if you can do, if you can get into a yoga routine, I would definitely recommend that. So check out the links below the video, and check out part two um, right here. I'm gonna link that. So check that out for more stretches. This is just part one. And um, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe please if you haven't, because I will be giving more tips on how to remain healthy. So um, different, you know, products and things you, things you can do to um, help you stay healthy.